So Ernesto, what's your plan? So I'm oh, planning to celebrate my birthday weekend. in four consecutive weekends. So <laughs> Weekend number one, Wynwood, Wynwood, Miami. Si se puede. No puedo. Si, 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 si se puede. <laughs> si se puede. No si puedo. se puede. Mm -hmm. Weekend number two, New York, New York. <laughs> Wait, Stacy, you're just you're throwing up gang signs, but I think you're just flicking people off. <laughs> Maharlika, authentic, authentic what? Filipino food. Authentic Filipino food. We're about to enjoy some uh, fertilized duck egg, which is a duck with a, with a beak and everything. You just crack it out the egg, slurp it down, it's all good. Some chicken and waffles, Filipino style. What else, what are you getting? So Filipino breakfast is basically tocino, which is like this uh, sweet cured ham pork with uh, garlic rice, fried egg, cucumber, and a San Miguel Filipino beer. Yeah. And uh, spice, apple, gingerbread, sangria. It's actually really good. Alright, so we're about to eat balut. Ernesto's first time ever eating balut. You need a part of that, man. Just enough so that you can get, you know, make a little piece so you can suck the juice out. Alright, so you gotta, you gotta shoot that juice. You like it? It's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. And now he's peeling it. It tastes like, like it tastes like a, what a baby bird would taste like. Is that good to you or is that bad? Um, it's sad. It's sad. It tastes sad. <laughs> well, you went for a second shot. It must not be that sad. Whoa. Uh, I'm like starting to see a, a baby duck in there, right? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Other people. Like all up in that man. Just to this on relax. I think feel. that's the that's the baby duck right there. You see him? The eyes, the beak, the neck, the body. That's it. Can you see him? Yeah. With his little him. feet. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's do it. Ready? Alright, go ahead. Pretty good. You like it? I do like it, yeah. What does it taste like? Describe it to the people. It tastes like a mixture between a chicken and an egg. Like a uh, chicken with eggs. That's what it tastes like. The yolk is very, very yolky. Like, like it definitely tastes like yolk. It's very dry too. Ernesto is about to become a true Filipino. He already ate the balut. That balut was real good though. Real good. A good start to a, to a trip full of weirdies. Alright, so Ernesto got the Filipino, Filipino chicken and waffles. Filipino chicken and waffles right there. Those are ube waffles. Yeah, whatever that means. Ube, it's like a no sweet purple. Yeah. I don't even know. And then I got the classic Filipino breakfast with the with the tocino, garlic rice, fried egg, cucumber, and tomato salad on the side. So how would you describe your first Filipino food experience? It's uh, really, really good. Chicken is delicious. Um, I don't even know what the hell's going on. I don't know what's going on here, but it's all real good. We got ube waffles with some kind of salty butter and some sweet sauce that we don't know what it is. With some like onion looking things that I have no idea what they are either. But, but they're, they're really good. They're delicious though. <laughs> Je sais pas.
Yo no sé. ¿Para dónde vamos? ¿Para dónde vamos? A sí, K-Town. Bien. Nosotros vamos a K-Town. Why do you throw a... Ceci, why do you throw a W? I thought you said you were going to K-Town, not yeah, W-Town. K-Town. 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 La ciudad K. Ciudad K. Ciudad K. I'll take her word for it. So, mira, mira, mira. Stacy. Stacy. Tiene. Tiene. Pulmula. Somos twins. Somos twins. Somos twins. Mira, enséñale. Enséñale ahí. Es muy larga. No, grande, grande. Pero es bien bonito, ¿verdad? Bien bonito. Así, así. Estasia. Oh, Estasia. Oh, ah, Estasia. Estasia. 